is the Catalan team and welcome to our tutorial. For this video, we are going to show you how to create test cases using script mode. Let's get started! There are two ways to create test script in script mode. First, you can write the script from scratch using script mode in Catalan Studio. The other option is you modify existing test cases that you create using manual mode. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a test case from scratch. First, capture the web element. Next, creating script. In this video, I'm going to utilize the web UI keyword available in Catalan Studio. Then, you run your test. I'm going to also show you some alternative for some other test cases. Now that you know the step, I will create a test case testing the login to make an appointment flow in a web application for you to see. This is my new test case that I just created. See how every tab is still blank? To build a test case in script mode, first you need to gather all the elements from the page that you want to test. Navigate to the top bar, click on the spy web element, and this tab will pop up. My project URL is already in there, but you can input yours if that's what you need. Click on the browser logo and the element capturing process start now. On the browser tab that just popped up, you will see your project with each element surrounded by a red border. You click on the object that you, that you want in your test, and it will appear on the tab of your right. Now that I'm done with my testing on this page and I want to move on to the next page, I'll input my username and password to continue. Here, I want to use the make appointment element, so I'll click on that as well. Now that all of my elements appear on this right tab, let me go through what you're seeing here. You can change the object name here or the method to save your object in Catalan Studio here. This box shows you all the specific ways that Catalan Studio save your project. On a side note, if you're using the Catalan Studio Enterprise version, this is where the self-healing mechanism get all of the pre-configure locator when enabled by default. And this box allows you to modify the initial address that Catalan used to locate an object. Verified and Highlight lets you verify each object you capture by highlighting the chosen object in red. Add Screenshot let you incorporate Catalan image-based testing into the capturing process, which I'll show you in some other tutorial. Now let me modify my object a bit and save my object into the repository. Now that you have your object ready, Let's create a script. Since Catalan Studio has an extensive web UI built-in keyword, I'm going to utilize just that. Now the first thing you need to do is to open the browser and navigate to the system under Test. Type the web UI to access the web UI keyword. After you enter the dot, this Content Assist tab will appear. Content Assist provides user with a context-sensitive suggestion for code completion. You can see all of the built-in keywords for web UI testing on display here. When you select a keyword, they will have a description display along for your reference. Now let me create a test script. Pay attention, or don't worry if you don't, you can look at the subtitle next to each step. Let me explain something here real quick. At this step, what if you want to put in password in a secure way or encrypted? So let's select encrypted text instead of just set text. Drag and drop the object that we're going to interact with here and then navigate to the top bar. Select help, choose encrypt text 
and Catalan will do the encryption for you. Then all you gotta do is a simple copy and paste. Okay, let's keep going. Before running your test, there is one extra step that I want to show you. Let's imagine that your test fail at some point before the close browser command, and therefore cannot close the browser because it can't reach there. So what if you still want to close your browser? This is where you use the teardown command. The teardown command can be used either as a post-test action or an if statement in the test. Here I'm using it as an if statement to make that even if on failure, it will still close the browser. And congratulations! You've just created your test case using script mode. A side note before we run is that Catalan Studio automatically translates all of your script mode test case into a manual mode test case here. Really convenient, right? Now all you need to do is navigate to the toolbar, choose your favorite browser to run the test in, and then sit back, relax, and let's Catalan do the hard work for you. Notice at the bottom bar, if everything is green or there's no red line, your test case is success. Now, what if you want to check if your SUT deny locks in when user enter the wrong username? So here, I'm going to have Catalan enter the wrong username. Therefore, I'm going to change the keyword here to verify element not present. As in alerting Catalan, that the make appointment object is not going to appear after I click on the login browser. Now let's run the test case again to see what happened. Supposedly, this test case will still have to pass if you do it right. And there you go, another successful test case in script mode. This concludes the first way that you can utilize the script mode. There is another way to use script mode. That is you starting from an existing script in manual mode. Here is a basic login test case in manual mode. Now, you can switch to script view using the bar at the footer of the test case editor. Here you can see all of the test case specified in manual view are translated into a Gerby script in script mode. You can continue to modify this test case using all the steps that I've shown you just then. And that's the end of our video. If you love to see more of us, hit subscribe and leave us a like or a comment. See you in our next tutorial!